What's up guys? I want to talk to you a little bit about how to bump up your pressing ability. Now, pressing has always been my bread and butter. Because of my leverages are very short arms, I adapted to pressing very quickly and actually got very competitive at it before I was even strong. So with my short arms and the addition of proper attention paid to technique, I started to excel very quick in overhead lifts. When I started, I did a kind of a sloppy push jerk and it worked very well for me. And it got to the point where I would be pros, you know, and zero the deadlift, but you know, I'd win the overhead event. So as I got more well-rounded and I got stronger, I realized that I needed that ability to carry over to other events. So I focused more on strict pressing and then eventually I just push pressed. And now that's my chosen method of getting weight overhead. So that gives me a lot of adaptability to things like logs and kegs and dumbbells and odd objects. So at a point, the acquisition of strength became the really big driving force of my overhead ability. Uh, technique only got me so far because technique is different for each implement and my leverage has only got me so far. So what happened in the beginning is my shoulders grew quite a bit from all the pressing. I credit that to my limbs again as my arms are very short so my shoulders had to get the load moving and then by the time I got the bar up over my head it was very easy for my triceps to come through. So my triceps were always a lot smaller than, than my shoulders and my back. So when I started drilling my triceps because lockout became lockout and stability actually became a very big problem with my overhead press as I got better and better uh, I ran into a problem the type of movements I needed to do to get my triceps stronger always hurt my elbows skull crushers hurt my elbows uh, French presses hurt my elbows even dips would hurt my elbows so I would have to limit myself to things like cable and band press downs kickbacks very light movements that I couldn't really load up and I had to just kind of hope that over time I'd be able to grow them. So I still like press downs and kickbacks, they definitely have their place. But when I found a way to load up my triceps so I could actually train for strength in that muscle group, my overhead just went to the next level. And that's the movement I'm gonna show you right now. This is something I've seen a lot of power lifters and bench pressers, even big overhead pressers recommend over the years, but I don't see a lot of people doing it today. And I don't know if it's because they're not aware of it or if they think it's too complicated, but this is a money exercise. This has the best of both worlds. It's enough load to really tax the triceps, but the way the, the bar moves, it actually saves your elbows quite a bit. So I'm gonna go over the JM press right now. So I like a close grip, usually uh, hands on the smooth, maybe ring finger right on that line. So your hands are about 10 inches apart. We cover up the power belly, and you're gonna take the bar out now, I, I think of this as like a, a halfway between a skull crusher and a close grip bench. So I'm going to let my elbows forward and the bar back, but instead of aiming the bar towards my forehead, I'm going to aim the bar towards my chin or my mouth. Now, I'm not trying to get full flexion to my elbows. Okay, I'm not trying to come down as low as I possibly can. I'm just coming down until I feel tension in my elbows. It's about right here. And from here, I push straight up. So as I come down, I'm thinking about breaking my elbows forward. I let them flare just a little bit until that tension kicks and then back up. I always do these very slow because I'm very mindful of that tension that builds in the elbows. In fact, when you start out, you're going to find that it doesn't take that much weight until you feel that strain in, in your elbows. So I started out training this with 65 to 75 pounds, which is less than what I would actually do with skull crushers. And that pressure was real. And then each week I got used to a little more and a little more. And then now, as long as I warm up well and I put cuffs on, I can actually handle this. I've been over 200 pounds on this movement. And as that movement has climbed up, the rigidness and stability I, ha I have in my overhead pressing is just ridiculous. It, it was very quick. It's one of those exercises that if you've never done, every time you do it, you're making 10, 20 pound jumps for you know weeks. Uh, and and the stronger you get at it, the more you get out of it. So I strongly recommend JM presses. This was a game changer in my overhead. Uh, you know, hit it once a week after your main pressing exercises. Follow it up with some lighter exercises. This is going to prime your triceps for for some nasty work afterwards. So if you follow some heavy sets, I like to keep it between six and ten reps. If you follow some heavy sets of JM presses with some very light ball busting band press downs, bench dips kickbacks, just something to get blood in and to just tear the muscle up. I mean, your triceps are gonna be a lot more sore than they've been in a long time. Um, 
So if you have any questions about this movement, go ahead and leave it in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I got big plans for the future, but I need an audience, all right? So until next time, guys, it's Bromley, Empire Barbell. I'll see you.